welcome to Hong Kong. This is one of my favorite destinations in the world. Uh, I've only been here once before and I absolutely loved it. It was at the start of our traveling in 2016, so almost almost four years ago. We booked this trip many months ago. Uh, it's a bit of a layover on the way to Japan. Of course, going to Japan during the Rugby World Cup time meant that ticket prices were hugely expensive. So it made sense to do a layover via Hong Kong and we extended it. Now, of course, this year um, has been pretty tumultuous for Hong Kong. Let's not beat around the bush there. It's very complex. It's a difficult time. Um, if you've not been keeping up with current affairs, there's a lot of protests happening, there's a lot of demonstrations, and um, it breaks my heart. It truly breaks my heart to see how this region is just kind of battling with so much. But instead of canceling our trip or replanning or doing anything else, we thought we would still come here and hopefully show a positive light because spirits are low, uh, heads are hanging and we kind of want to want to show what makes Hong Kong so special um, because it is an absolute gem of a location. It is photogenic, it is beautiful, it mixes old with new, east meets west. It is such a unique place um, and I'm desperate for it to hold on to its character of what makes Hong Kong so special. So I think essentially I'm just going to keep checking in with various different locations and um, capturing some shots around the areas and uh, chasing the lights as usual um, because yeah, Hong Kong is such a street photography haven. There are scenes happening, there is so much character to the buildings, um, there's just a lot of texture, a lot of light and with all the tall buildings the light comes through with harsh shadows no matter the time of day there's something to shoot here and likewise you can come back to the same location the following day the following month and it will be completely different because the activity is what makes the frame for the moment i think i'm just going to throw in with some shots of locations and images and i hope you enjoy them and i'll add some commentary along the way things that I really love about Hong Kong is because it can get so hot here a lot of the buildings are all connected and they've got these walkways and they're covered although it's designed to be a connection amongst the city for pedestrians what it does offer are amazing vantage points for photography so yeah we're currently in the central area and uh, just kind of like peering down over some of the trams um, and I just love all the yellow markings and you can get some good shots here it's uh yeah vantage points are everything. Location means so much when it comes to photography. I feel like I look a bit red. <laughs> it's because it's really hot. It's about 28, 29 degrees Celsius uh, and very humid, as you'd expect for the, uh, the tropical area. One thing that I always love is just how harmoniously you have old traditional markets, very rustic, very characteristic, gritty, mixed with huge modern skyscrapers um, that are glass, chromey, and uh, just essentially look like giant hard drives. I just love how the two can just coexist side by side. Uh, really makes for a good photo opportunity. ourselves in an area that, forgive me if I'm going to say it wrong, To Kwa Wan. Uh, it's in a suburb on the sort of eastern side of Kowloon. So far it looks pretty chill, um, even though it's fairly busy it's definitely a slower pace to the rest of Hong Kong that we've seen and uh, there's a lot of character in the buildings, some kind of rustic gritty nature which I love and uh, yeah we're going to be getting some shots around here. Of course I've got my 35mm f2 on the X-H1 I love this lens for urban stuff, it suits so well around here. I 
Okay, so we're currently in an area called 13 Streets, and as we've been kind of like walking around and wondering, we've noticed that it is literally just car mechanic shop after mechanic shop. It's just garages everywhere. They're literally this like, one here, one yeah. here, one here, one here. Just car mechanics everywhere. So I just googled it and I looked it up and I thought this is quite interesting. So the 13 streets historically used to be private roads, which meant that it wasn't controlled by the city for parking. Um, so of course, although there were a lot of garages around anyway, um, parking was unrestricted so you could just leave your car here. But because it was a private road, that just kind of emphasized it. And then there were just more and more cars, um, or rather more and more space to just leave your cars so that you could get them fixed. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like an interesting little quirk, I think. The lighting that's shining through on the buildings at the moment is really accentuating the colours. And for me, growing up, Hong Kong was always, like, probably the only Asian destination I really had a close eye on. Um, the place that I was kind of really intrigued and curious by, and I'm talking when I was like four or five years old or something, Hong Kong just was interesting. There was so much, um, I guess, connection back to the UK. And um, yeah, I feel like what we're looking at here is kind of what Hong Kong looks like in its prime. Um, you know, these buildings are like 50, 60, 70 years old. And um, now they're kind of deteriorating a little bit, but they still hold their character of what Hong Kong residence was like um, and uh, even now the light has just faded and uh, it doesn't look quite as, as glorious as it did two minutes ago. Quick tip when getting shots like this, um, really try and get yourself dead centre and symmetrical on things because any slight deviance from the symmetrical view just doesn't quite look right so really try your best on that um, and here's hoping I did as well. Today is our last full day and uh, I really wanted to come to Mong Kok and um, the surrounding areas and see a lot of the neon lights because this is one of the areas that still has quite a presence of neon lights um, because they are rapidly diminishing. So we come to this area on Tung Choi Street I believe it's called um, and I starred on my map this overpass way up there which hopefully you can see uh, some of the neon lights and, and other stuff down this street. We just arrived and already I've spotted that there's a couple that have been removed since uh, I saw that vantage point, I don't know, for however long ago. Um, so we're gonna try and feature as best I can some of the signage. Um, and the light is just getting dark, so it should be pretty good for seeing those lights come on. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is true Hong Kong to me. This is what I envision and imagine whenever I think of Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah, especially 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, <laughs> bright lights. Yeah. The food, the people. <laughs> come up on the overpass looking for neon shots. Unfortunately there's not as much neon as I expected or hoped for. Um, I think it is diminishing, it's disappearing, it's being replaced by LED. What I am surprised to see was on the other side there was this market view. Um, so you can see down there, I'm not actually sure of the name of the market. I can see down there the sign says Fa Yuan Street. So I'm guessing that's the name of the market as well. Lots of clothes, fruit, veg and um, all sorts of other local things. Again, my mistake, we were looking at the wrong street. So the one that I starred, accidentally I starred the street over. Um, this is Tong Choi Street and there's a lot more, uh, I guess, lights and signage. Still not quite as much as I remember from, I guess, when I first starred that on the map. Um, but, equally speaking, 
if I hadn't have got the street wrong, we probably wouldn't have seen that market because we're actually heading this direction. So you win some, you lose some. Or in this case, you actually win some and you win some again. I've got a feeling some of these lights will come on soon, hopefully. I hope they're not just dead. We've been hunting around various different neon signs. Um, it's always just got such a nice warming characteristic feel. I don't think LED can ever properly replace it as much as oftentimes they are better, safer and all sorts. Neon just, just has that charm about it and the same with Argon lights and other similar styles. Um, and Hong Kong is just, it, it's characteristic of it. So um, it's a shame that it's disappearing. But I guess it opens up a new chapter um, for the future and other things. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Um, sorry if this is all chronologically completely out of sync. Um, I'm not actually sure which ones I'm uploading first, whether it's between here, Japan and other places. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you do subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to catch others. And of course, check out my Instagram to see those photos. And I'll see you in another video soon. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, okay, bye bye. <laughs> Long lens crazy, long lens man. Come on, have a go with my lungs with the lap. <laughs> <laughs>